Hi everyone, welcome back um, to Crochet Vox, Tracy here and a Vox chat indeed. So firstly, it's not Sunday, it's not the weekend and um, yeah, I think I, I had a bit of a screw loose um, <laughs> putting up the wrong thumbnail on my video yesterday. Oops, looks like I'm undressing myself. Yeah, it's not the weekend. But the thing is, the strangest thing, I made that thumbnail and then I changed it to say something else and put the wrong one on. But all day, all day yesterday, I felt like it was Saturday. And I know it wasn't because, you know, the weekend had just happened and I was like, oh. But it's weird how that happened. And I actually did kind of think it was Saturday. Let's have a look at my picture. I've got... A really funny joke to show you as well. <laughs> you wait till you see it. Yeah, hey, there we go. That's today's picture. That's today's. Put that one. I like that guy. Some of the um, droids they have in the latest Star Wars are real cool. You know, they don't just sit there and go. Anyway, let's do the remember when and then I won't forget it. Oh, heavens. Uh, light. There we go. Let there be a light. Okay. Remember when Ollie Ollie Oven Free made perfect sense? <laughs> no. I'm afraid you guys from across the pond are going to have to put run that one by me. <laughs> I don't get that one. Obviously, it was an American thing. You have to tell me because I'm... I'm I'm all curious now. So I've been out. Otherwise, I'd have put my thumbnail straight when um, Victoria mentioned it to me. Um, that yesterday's thumbnail was all up the pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see my tissue. Anyway, um, yeah, I went to see Bob Marley. Not, um, you know, obviously not a tribute or anything like that. But the one love at the cinema. And uh, oh, I got a bit sad at the end. I had a bit of a tear. Not, didn't cry, but I had a lump in my throat when um, when it came up and it said he was 36 when he died, you know. What kind of age is that? It's really not, is it? And who knows what glorious music he'd have made <clears throat> if he hadn't. But yeah, um, brilliant. I enjoyed it. I really did. And then made it even more. A lot of people say, oh, you won't like it. You don't look nothing like him. And I said, well... <laughs> Not really going to, is it? Unless one of his kids plays him. And then as all of the credits went up, near enough, all of them, including, uh, I think his, I don't know if his wife's still alive, but all of his family were involved in that movie as producers or, you know, whatever. And directed by Brad Pitt. So, yeah, it was a good film. Good film. I enjoyed it. And uh, especially the music. Yeah, they, they glossed over certain things, you know, they didn't even mention Peter Tosh or the fact that he left. Um, and then Junior come along. I always thought Junior was a bit of a square, you know. And then kind of to know that he had this whole other life, um, playing his guitar and stuff with Bob Marley. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was good. So yeah, we went out, we had... Um, Went to the cinema, we went to get more stuff for Gary's DIY. I know he's got more shelving to put up. Um, bedroom and conservatories making shelves. I was going to buy them, I could buy a shelving unit, but he's going to make them. Yeah, I don't think he'll know what to do with himself when his DIY finally comes to an end. It'll be a real a loose end for sure. So, um, and then we went and got some food from f in the freezer shop. And uh, that was a fortune. That was a fortune and a half. My watch has been digging in. Look, I've got, um, I must have swollen a bit. I hate it when that happens. But I took it off now anyway. I've got all of the imprint of every single part of the watch. <laughs> Can you see it all? It probably won't pick up, but I've got loads and loads of lines. I've got the bumps where the catch goes in. It's um, being vicious. It's one got the imprint of that on the inside of my arm and you see those lines oh well oh that joke this is the funniest thing i love this michael sent me this 
And um, he sends me these pictures where they're people put together. Um, sometimes, you know, it'd be like uh, a joke. Um, you know, it might be Sylvester Stallone and somebody else and, and they're giving them a name. It might be Michael Jackson and Sylvester Stallone. But this one, this killed me, this one. And it says, <laughs> oh, remember when Rock was young. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that picture. Oh, it did tickle me. And I showed it to Gary and he was kind of like, huh? Don't get it. I said, no, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, he went, he's like the rock. Oh, of course it is. <clears throat> but that's funny. I, don't, I really like that. <laughs> I'm not picking my nose. I'm scratching the side. I realised then when I did that, it did look a bit sus. But I was not, you know, I was just, I, I had a scratch, I had an itch right there, so I scratched it. It wasn't up my snitch or anything like that. No, nothing so uncouth as that. Uh, I had a look in home bargains, see if they had any yarn. All they had was stuff that I've had a million times before, so nothing to write home about. I didn't buy any. Didn't get any. But, but, I've been almost placing orders with three of my suppliers, almost. Um, but I held back at the last minute. I've got things in my baskets in all three places. <laughs> Which one will I go for first? I don't know. Um, I usually leave it until I end up taking it all out. But um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so I've also um, taken steps to... Uh, I've done a tutorial. Which, um, I don't know, maybe it's Thursday it's popping up. Possibly. <clears throat> and I've um, set the thing to um, help me make it a left-handed one as well. My my Christmas scrunchie, I couldn't do that left-handed. Um, at the time, the computer that I use was out of action. Cheers. I've got my B propolis in this, so I can't taste it at all. So that's good. It doesn't even taste sweet or anything. If they're wondering what that humming is, it's Gary feeding the fish. When he lifts up the lid, it hums because the pump sits just a bit on top and it hits the wall. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, somebody asked me, I think it was it was Mama, asked me how my eyelash thing's going. Well, I've only done it for two days because um, I do feel like, though, when I put it on yesterday, I don't know if I had, like, tired eyes, but I thought, like, oh, is that stinging me? But it was fine and I went to bed and... Yeah, I slept like a log last night. You don't say I sleep like a baby. That's a really bad analogy, isn't it? Because most babies that I've ever had, apart from Paul, woke up every few hours. So in that respect, usually I do sleep like a baby. And uh, usually I wake up for <clears throat> the loo. But um, I didn't wake up once. So I don't wake up. I didn't wake up more, about once for it. Don't mind, No more than that. But sometimes something wakes me. But last night... I remember turning over in my sleep, sort of half kind of stirring, and I laid on this side, cuddled into my pillow, and that's where I stayed. I think that was just after I'd gone to bed as well. So for around, I'd say about eight or nine hours, I slept on this arm. And when I woke up this morning, it was totally dead. Because this arm, since I had my operation, hurts when I when I lay on it for about ten minutes. <laughs> so to sort of squash it all night long. It's now kind of incapacitated. So I had a, a note from the postman that I had £2.50 to pay for a, something or they wouldn't deliver it. And I thought at first, um, it, is it a scam? But then I realised, no, it came actually from them. So I paid that. And today I've got a birthday card come through. So uh, I will open that. I've left it on the bed for now, but I will open it. Um, obviously it came a bit late. Um, I did pay the, the difference like the following day. So it, and that it's a deliver at the next available opportunity. Well, that was not the next available opportunity, but never mind. Um, at least I got it. And, uh, I also ordered a new one of these. I've been wearing these kind of soft, um, boulder holders, you know, this is a Fabletics one. Now, a long time ago, I did an order with Fabletics and I was so disgusted 
with the the fact that they kept taking 70 odd quid out of my account every month <clears throat> I didn't know until one time when I thought where's my money like you would and um it come to light that they'd set me up as a subscription so I don't know what they thought I might want to buy <laughs> but it's good 74 pounds something every month but I demanded a refund and I didn't get it and I did this customer service review on it so eventually I did get some of my money back but I couldn't get all of it so I decided to take it in goods I wish I'd got more of the uh the bra things because they're Fabletics ones actually are really really good and I only got one I ended up with trainers and I wish I hadn't bothered because they're most uncomfortable things and I've I don't think I've worn both pairs like twice one's white and the other is pink but they're not the most comfy things so I, I kind of wish I'd just got all underwear anyway I found one on on eBay that somebody had obviously ordered and then didn't want or something but I'm loath to buy any more from them because, you know, if you if you don't do it as a subscription, you have to pay through the nose for it. But if you do it as a subscription, you get them cheaper. But then you've got to have money taken off you every month. And um, disgusting, to be honest with you. Cheers. It's not the same as this. It's got a very high neck, so I don't even know if I should wear it. Unless I'm wearing something that with a... <laughs> Doesn't that look weird? Because I've got no neck. Okay. <clears throat> so how are you guys? What have you been up to? I've been crocheting and I've been crocheting loads. But I did have to frog quite a bit. And I hate the word frog. I really, I hate frogging. I really do. It sort of hurts me. <laughs> Once I've done it to actually frog it back. Some people don't mind, you know. Oh, I just frog that. I've heard Krista from The Secret Yarnery go, oh, you know, I don't worry, I'll just frog it. And I think, frog it, you know, I've sat there all that time. Time I'll never get back, you know, that sort of thing. So uh, I wanted to perfect the actual pattern and I wasn't keen on the way it was working out. It was getting a bit wavy. This is my circle. I wanted it flat and even. I want to make a flat and even one with none of that malarkey going on. And... Um, well, I think I've succeeded, but um, yeah, I just kept going and going and going and going. It's getting quite a size now, um, but as I did mention, I will never send a pull <laughs> of yarn cake again because unfortunately, I did it on both of them, and um, the red one, which I made the tutorial for, um the shawl which that will come up on Thursday I think maybe Friday and then I did it did it again for that and uh, both times I had to sit there and unravel humongous big chunks of knots and I watched Krista once um, take out a whole middle and and just separate a cake and I think I think it was her someone else and I thought at the time, oh, nightmare, that all collapse in on itself. And But, you know, is it just me? <laughs> is, it just, is it just me? I don't know. Might not have been her, actually. Oh, so, yeah, it was kind of really quite nice to go to the cinema. We haven't been for ages and we've got the cards. So, we you know, we should really go more often. But they um, they started doing a few trailers. Um, Dune 2's out. <clears throat> but I need to watch Dune 1 again. And I mean, I found that the most boring film in the world. But Gary needs to see it with subtitles, really, before we go see Dune 2, which looks better. I have to say, definitely look better, unless they've shown all the good bits in the trailer and the rest is pants. I don't know. But uh, the one film I do want to see is they made a movie of uh, Amy Winehouse. And uh, I definitely, definitely, 100% want to go see that. I loved Amy Winehouse, you know, I was a big Amy Winehouse fan. Um, obviously, she kind of wrecked wrecked her whole life and it ended far too soon. I think she was 27 when she died. But, yeah, definitely want to see that film. And there's been a few that we've missed um, recently because... And when Gary said, oh, I, might, I might get rid of these cinema cards, we're not going. I said, that's because whenever you're off... You do DIY, you know, when can you go? 
if you do that. So, uh, yeah, we will have to make more of an effort to use them. Otherwise, they're just a waste of money. But anyway, um, it was a good, it was a really good film. I really recommend it, especially if you like Bob Marley music. Charles. And Gary isn't the only one, though, that needs subtitles for that one. <laughs> just um, a little bit. Um, I got, you know, um, I'd say 90% of the dialogue. But there's the odd bit of kind of where it was just too fast for me and I didn't pick up the words. So it'll be interesting to see it with subtitles when Gary has to watch it. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't get it. I know he, he might have done some of it. Hello. You're putting my phone you. Hang on a sec. I am back. Um, I don't, Gary thought I might have his phone in my bag, but I don't. So hopefully he'll find it in the car somewhere. Cheers. So I've been taking not only the Bee Propolis, but I bought ages ago some um, uh, magnesium supplement. And I've been doing the multivitamins and I thought, you know, can you do it? I think both of them. So I Googled it and it said you can as long as you don't take them at the same time. And I missed, missed taking my multivitamin this morning because we just got out. Didn't even have any breakfast before we went out. And um, so I guess I washed my hair. It took longer. And then I had to pack some orders up. And by then it was time to get out the door. And uh, so partly I'm sitting here I'm starving I'm gonna rumble really loud in a minute I hope you don't hear it um but um what was I gonna say oh my goodness I've gone off on a tangent oh yeah I forgot to take my um my multivitamin so today I'm not gonna take that I'll just take the magnesium because that has to be with food and I thought well they'll be too close together otherwise so I shall take that because I slept absolutely oh perfectly like like I used to last night and I'm hoping that that magnesium had something to do with it because um one of the things magnesium deficiency causes so many bad things um I saw a video on it and it said uh, do you have any of these symptoms well to be honest if you had them all absolutely every one of them so I figured you know you don't even if you're eating it in your in your diet as you get older um, you don't metabolise it quite as well. So, um, you know, it is beneficial to take it as a supplement as you, um, you know, get over 30. But, you know, just saying. It is a fact that um, it doesn't. So I'm doing the B propolis. I'm now having the magnesium. I do take a multivitamin when, um, mostly every day. And so I'm feeling really good. Actually, I've lost a stone, which is about 14 pounds, maybe even a little bit more. I haven't weighed myself. But um, yeah, so it's it's kind of all going in the right direction for a change. So that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to get off and upload this video and try not to put a weekend thumbnail on it. I will change that once I boot up the computer. I'll put the right one on it that it should have been that says not that it's the weekend. Most people have probably seen it already by now, but I will I will change it anyway. So if you look at it and it doesn't say that, then you'll think, what's she on about? It did, but it doesn't now. Bye for now, guys. Take care. See you soon. Bye.